This question was asked in the gate fix paper 2021. This is a numerical answer type, one marks question. And the topic of the question is solid state physics. Specifically, it was asked from the chapter semiconductor physics. The question is the donor concentration in a sample of n type silicon is increased by a factor of 100. Assuming the sample to be non degenerate, the shift in the Fermi level in milli electron volt at 300 Kelvin rounded off to the nearest integer is. So, some information has been given that is Kb times T equals to 25 milli electron volt at 300 Kelvin. So, let us see the solution part now. We know in an intrinsic semiconductor, the electron density in, in the conduction band and the hole density in valence band is equal and that is denoted by Ni, where Ni is the intrinsic carrier density. Now, Fermi level for this type of intrinsic semiconductor is given by intrinsic Fermi level Ei equals to Ec plus Ev divided by 2 plus 3 by 4 kbt times ln of mp star by mn star <coughs> where ec is the energy at the conduction bandage ev is the energy at the valence bandage t is the absolute temperature of this semiconductor mp star is the effective mass of the hole in the valence band and mn star is the effective mass of the electrons in the conduction band so, from the diagram, we can see the intrinsic Fermi level will lie in between the uh, EC and EV energy level. If we perform external doping in intrinsic semiconductor, then it is known as doped semiconductor or extrinsic semiconductor. Depending on the type of impurity doped in the semiconductor, it is classified as two types. First one is n-type semiconductor and the second one is p-type semiconductor. In the n-type semiconductor, the doped impurity acts as donor of electrons in the conduction band. Hence, the electron density in the n-type semiconductor will be increased. But in p-type semiconductor, the doped impurity acts as acceptor of electrons from the valence band. So here, the hole density will be enhanced in p-type semiconductor. If we see the band diagram of n-type semiconductor, the donor energy level ED will lie above the intrinsic Fermi level EI. At 0 Kelvin temperature, all the uh, donors are in the unionized state. That is, all the donor levels are occupied with electrons. As temperature increases slightly, some of the donors get ionized and contribute electrons to the conduction band. Also, some of the electrons from the valence band will jump to the conduction band and it will leave behind some holes in the valence band. The number of holes produced in this process is very small. Therefore, the Fermi level in the n-type semiconductor EF must lie somewhere near the middle of the donor level and the bottom of the conduction band that is EC. Similarly, in p-type of semiconductor, the acceptor level Ea will lie below the intrinsic Fermi level and the Fermi le actual Fermi level for the p-type semiconductor that is Ef will lie in between Ea energy level and Ec en Ev energy level. But at sufficiently high temperature like room temperature, the donors or the acceptors will get completely ionized. So that is complete ionization. So, for n-type semiconductor, the impurity type is donor of electrons. Uh, at sufficiently high temperature, all the donors will be ionized. So, for the case of complete ionization, the concentration of donor atoms is given by Nd equals to Nc times exponential of minus Ec minus Ef divided by Kbt, where Nc is 2 times 2 pi mn star Kbt by h square whole to the power 3 by 2. Here nc is known as 
effective density of states of electrons at the conduction band edge that is at energy level EC. If we just take the logarithm on both side and after some rearrangement we will get the Fermi level of n type semiconductor as EC plus KBT times ln of ND by NC. Now at a particular in, uh, temperature the NC is constant so the EF energy level will depend on only the donor concentration that is ND. As ND increases the EF energy level of the entire semiconductor will increase. In the previous slide we have already seen uh, the Fermi level of the n-type semiconductor will depend on the concentration of donor atoms stoked in that semiconductor. Now according to the question we will consider two cases. Uh, in the first semiconductor the donor concentration is Nd and the Fermi level is at EF1 and in the second semiconductor n-type semiconductor the concentration of donor is 100 types Nd and the Fermi level will lie at EF2. As the donor concentration in the second type semiconductor uh, is greater than the first semiconductor, so obviously the EF2 will be greater than EF1. So we have to basically calculate this difference that is EF2 minus EF1 which is difference of the Fermi level of these two semiconductor. Also some informations are given. Uh, we have to consider the situation at temperature 300 Kelvin and the thermal energy is given by 25 milli electron volt. Now we will directly use the formula for Fermi level in n-type semiconductor for both the cases. In case 1 the Fermi level EF1 is equal to EC plus KBT times ln of ND1 by NC where ND1 is the donor concentration in the first n-type semiconductor. For the second n-type semiconductor where the doping concentration is increased by 100 times uh, the Fermi label EF2 is EC plus KBT times ln of ND2 by NC where ND2 is 100 times of ND1. So the shift in Fermi label due to the increase in doping concentration by 100 times the del EF is given by EF2 minus EF1 which is KBT times ln of ND2 by NC minus ln of ND1 by NC. So del EF equals to KBT times ln of ND2 by ND1. Now ND2 is 100 types of ND1. So KBT will be ln of 100 ND uh, divided by ND. So ND will cancel out from the numerator and denominator. So del EF will be KBT times ln of 100. Now at temperature 300 Kelvin the KBT that is thermal energy value is 25 milli electron volt. So if we put that KBT value we will get del EF 25 times ln of 100 milli electron volt. So our del EF will be around 115 milli electron volt and this is the final answer for this question. According to our solution, the shift in the Fermi level in milli electron volt at 300 Kelvin is 115 in the integer form.